Picture a land of mystifying diversity, a kaleidoscope of cultures, traditions, and rituals. Yes, you guessed it right. We're talking about India. A country where the old and new, the traditional and the modern, the ordinary and the extraordinary coexist, often complementing and contradicting each other all at once. A land where tradition is not just followed, it's lived, it's breathed. It's in the vibrant festivals, the colorful attire, the aromatic spices, the rhythmic dance forms, and the melodious music. Some of these traditions might seem strange, even bizarre to an outsider's perspective. But for the people of India, they are a part of their identity, an integral part of their daily lives, deeply ingrained in their culture and their hearts. So, are you ready to embark on this intriguing journey into the heart of India's traditions, to explore, to learn and to be amazed? Ready to dive into the enchanting world of Indian traditions? Here we go! Imagine tossing a newborn baby from a 50-foot tall temple. Sounds bizarre? Welcome to the first strange tradition. In the states of Maharashtra and Karnataka, an age-old ritual has been practiced for centuries, where infants are thrown off the towering heights of temples. But fear not, for these little ones are not left to the mercy of gravity. A safety net, in the form of a large cloth, is held at the bottom by a group of men ready to catch the falling babies. This tradition, though it may make your heart skip a beat, is believed to bring good luck, prosperity, and robust health to the child. The villagers have unwavering faith in this ritual and its benefits. It's a practice cloaked in faith, fear, and anticipation. Yet the joyous cheers that follow the safe catch of each baby suggest a strange sense of relief and celebration. A hair-raising tradition indeed, but it's believed to bring prosperity and good health to these little ones. Ever wondered about the significance of a mustache in Indian culture? Let's dig into the tradition number two. In the lively region of Rajasthan, homeland of vibrant colors and robust forts, resides a unique tradition that underlines the essence of masculinity and power. Yes, we're talking about the royal mustache. This isn't your average facial hair, it's a symbol of pride and a mark of distinction. Rajasthani men have been growing their mustaches for centuries, with lengths that can reach astonishing proportions. These long, twirled mustaches are often paired with traditional attire, adding a regal touch to their persona. It's not just about aesthetics, though. The mustache is seen as a sign of virility, often associated with the courage and valor of the Rajput warriors of yore. Just like a peacock flaunting its feathers, the mustache in Rajasthan is a spectacle of grandeur, an emblem of personal and cultural identity. So, the next time you see an Indian man sporting a magnificent mustache, you know it's not just a fashion statement. Brace yourselves as we step into the fiery lanes of tradition number three. Firewalking, a mesmerizing practice that tests faith and endurance, is commonly seen in the southern regions of India. It's a tradition that quite literally puts one's beliefs to the test. A trial by fire, if you will. Imagine barefoot walking over a bed of red-hot embers or stones, feeling the heat but pushing through, driven by the power of faith. It's a sight that leaves spectators spellbound, a testament to the human spirit and its capacity to transcend the ordinary. Interestingly, the practice is not exclusive to any one religion, but is seen across various communities, each with their own unique rituals and reasons for undertaking this fiery feat. It's not just an act of faith but a spectacle of strength, courage, and resilience. Akin to walking on hot coals, this tradition is a fiery testament to the strength of belief. From fiery lanes we slither into the world of serpents for our fourth strange tradition. Welcome to Nag Panchami, a day dedicated to the worship of snakes. This curious celebration takes place on the fifth day after the new moon of the month of Shravan, as per the Hindu calendar. At first glance it might seem like a scene straight out of a fantasy novel, yet it's a tradition deeply ingrained in the Indian psyche. On this day people seek blessings from snakes, believed to be deities. They offer milk, a sign of purity and nourishment to these revered serpents. Yes, you heard that right. These slithering creatures are not only respected but also fed as part of the ritual. While it might seem strange to many, this festival underscores the incredible diversity of India's culture, showcasing the reverence for nature and its creatures. A strange tradition for sure, but it's just another day in the life of India's diverse culture. Ever heard of humans being treated as gods? Let's explore this intriguing tradition number five. In the diverse cultural landscape of India, there exists a unique tradition of venerating godmen or god women. These are individuals who, due to their spiritual enlightenment or extraordinary deeds, are revered and worshipped as deities. 
they are considered living gods, embodiments of divinity on earth. This practice is deeply rooted in the Indian belief system, where divinity is not confined to heavenly realms but is seen as permeating all aspects of life. These godmen and godwomen often lead religious movements, provide spiritual guidance and perform miracles, further strengthening their divine status in the eyes of their followers. This tradition poses a fascinating intersection of faith, devotion, and human reverence. It challenges our usual understanding of divinity, blurring the lines between the mortal and the divine. A fascinating mix of faith and devotion, isn't it? In the heart of West Bengal lies a city of widows. Let's delve into this sixth strange tradition. Tucked away in the bustling state of West Bengal, the city of Vrindavan paints a different picture from the usual Indian cityscape. What makes this city stand out is its unique demographic, a high population of widows who find solace and companionship amongst each other. They come from all corners of the country, seeking refuge from the societal stigma attached to widowhood in some parts of India. Here, in the city of Vrindavan, they find a sisterhood that transcends the boundaries of age, caste, and language. They share stories, celebrate festivals, pray together, and most importantly, they heal together. The city of Vrindavan, in its own unique way, is a beacon of hope for these women. It's a testament to their resilience, their strength, and their ability to redefine their lives even in the face of adversity. A city that's a testament to the resilience and strength of womanhood. Ever imagined a festival where people throw colors at each other? Welcome to Holi, our seventh strange tradition. Now, let's dive into a world where colors reign supreme. Holi, also known as the Festival of Colors, is a radiant tradition observed with fervor across India marking the arrival of spring. On this day you'll witness a kaleidoscope of colors illuminating the air. People, regardless of age, social status or gender, enthusiastically smear each other with vibrant powders, drenching the streets in a riot of hues. But Holi is more than just a colorful spectacle. It's a celebration of unity and renewal, embodying the spirit of joy, love, and forgiveness. From the crack of dawn till the sunset, laughter and joyous shouts echo through the air, while the intoxicating aroma of traditional sweets wafts from every home. Holi is indeed a tradition that breaks boundaries, uniting people in a merry dance of colors. Holi, a riot of colors that paints the canvas of Indian tradition in vivid hues. Let's light up the night sky with our eighth strange tradition, the Sky Lantern Festival. This festival is a spectacle that takes place during the grand celebration of Diwali, one of India's most significant festivals. Diwali, also known as the Festival of Lights, symbolizes the victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and hope over despair. The tradition of releasing sky lanterns is a sight to behold. As the sun sets and darkness sets in, millions of lanterns are released into the sky illuminating the night with a warm gentle glow. These lanterns carrying the hopes and wishes of the people ascend to the heavens, creating a twinkling canvas that stretches as far as the eye can see. Each lantern carries a story, a prayer, a dream. As they float upwards they create a stunning spectacle that is both humbling and inspiring. This is more than just a tradition, it's a celebration of life, hope, and dreams. A sight to behold as the Indian night sky transforms into a twinkling canvas of hope. Ready for a human pyramid? Let's climb to our ninth strange tradition. Come let's delve into the intriguing tradition of forming human pyramids. A spectacle that takes center stage during the festival of John Mashtami. This festival is no ordinary celebration, it's a grand commemoration of Lord Krishna's birth. The human pyramid is a playful reenactment, a nod to Lord Krishna's childhood antics, where he and his friends would form pyramids to steal butter from hanging pots. This tradition, known as Dahi Handi, involves a group of men, called Govindas, who work together to build a towering human pyramid. The goal? To reach a pot of buttermilk suspended high above the ground, symbolizing the same mischievous act of Lord Krishna. It's not just about the climb though, it's the fall, the rise and the indomitable spirit of teamwork that makes this tradition truly remarkable. A towering testament to teamwork and agility, wouldn't you agree? And finally, a tradition that's a food fight of epic proportions, our 10th strange tradition. Nestled amidst the myriad celebrations of Diwali, the festival of lights, is the tradition of Anakut. Anakut, which translates to a mountain of food, is an event where devotion, community, and a sense of fun converge in a unique way. It's the day when mounds of vegetarian dishes are prepared and offered to the deities in a grand display of gratitude and reverence. But here's the twist that makes this tradition a standout. Once the ceremonial rituals are done, it's time for a food fight. 
That's right, participants engage in a friendly battle, throwing food at each other in a vibrant display of camaraderie and joy. It's a spectacle that's as fascinating as it is fun. No grudges held, no apologies needed. Just pure, unadulterated merriment. A food fight that's all about fun, festivity, and a whole lot of faith. And there you have it, a whirlwind tour of 10 strange traditions that can only be seen in India. We've journeyed from the daring heights of baby throwing for luck, to the fascinating spectacle of the royal mustache. We felt the heat of fire walking, slithered through the snake festival, and marveled at the concept of the human god. We visited the widow city, drenched ourselves in the festival of colors, lit up the night in the sky lantern festival, climbed the human pyramid, and even partaken in the food throwing festival. Each of these traditions, as unique as they may be, are threads in the vibrant tapestry that is Indian culture. They highlight the diversity and uniqueness of a nation that prides itself on its rich heritage and traditions. Remember, what might seem strange to one might be a way of life for another. Here's to celebrating the diversity of human culture, one tradition at a time.